Final Thoughts Makes. Today, I have a featured finished project to share with you. It is a newly released pattern by Tori Yu. Tori Yu is a Chinese American designer in New York of the United States. I was a test knitter through February into April and I am just so excited to finally share this with you. It is a new to me construction. I have never knit a garment with this type of construction before. It is top down, saddle shoulders. There is picking up of stitches, but it is a seamless design. It was so fun to knit. I did initially say I was never going to knit a fingering weight tee using basically sock size needles. The pattern has you using US three or 3.25 millimeter needles for the main stockinette fabric and for the ribbing in the neckline, sleeve cuffs and the body hem, you use US two or 2.75 millimeter needles. I knit DK weight socks on US three. I knit sport weight socks on US two needles. So I thought there's no way I'm going to knit a garment using sock size needles. Maybe you are a looser knitter. You will be going down even more in needle sizes. That being said, I love the way this fabric feels. It feels so nice. It's just so smooth and though it's denser, it isn't heavy or stiff. There's still a beautiful drape to it and it feels really good next to skin. The gauge of this pattern is 25 stitches by 33 rounds. I did meet gauge. However, that being said, I will say when I was knitting my sleeves, the method I was using in my sleeves is magic loop and I always knit magic loop tighter and I was thinking, oh, it'll be okay, I'll be fine, but the gauge here did end up tighter. So I feel like my stitch gauge was still okay, but my row gauge was definitely shorter or maybe both of them ended up tighter. I have less positive ease in my sleeves than the pattern has in the schematics, but it still fits me really well, so I'm not upset about that at all. I did make a couple of modifications. I did increase the sleeve length by one inch from the pattern, irregardless of my gauge. And I did increase the body length by like inch and a half to two inches as well. And so that's just based on personal preference and how I like my garments to fit. I did knit the second size, which is a 38 inch finished circumference for six inches of positive ease, which is within the recommended ease for the pattern. The pattern comes in, I believe, nine sizes. I will put the information here on the screen because I don't remember the numbers right now, but the recommended ease is four to six inches of positive ease. The yarn I used was Pearl Soho's Linen Quill in the colorway Vintage Celadon. Here is the tag up on the screen. It is 50% fine highland wool, 35% alpaca, 15% linen. The colorway I use is vintage celadon, which is this lovely heathered greeny blue that is not quite robin's egg blue because it's greener than robin's egg blue, but it's got a beautiful springy vibe to it. And since the linen doesn't take dye the same way as the animal fibers, there's just beautiful heathering and dimension to the yarn and the resulting fabric. I ended up using 190 grams total, so just under two full skeins of yarn, and that totaled to 834 yards. Again, this is for the second size with some sleeve length increasing and body length increasing. I'm going to try to stand up closer so that hopefully you can see some of the beautiful details. I feel like this is a very basic but elevated T. So there's this ribbing in the shoulders that go continued into the sleeve. And because my yarn isn't super round, I feel like the stitch definition isn't as obvious in this beautiful ribbing. So if you use a rounder yarn, I feel like that will stick out a little bit more. And so you start out with these shoulder panels, you pick up for the front and the back. I feel like my pickup is very tidy I can't see any holes or any gaping in the stitches. And then you continue that patterning down the sleeve after you pick up for the sleeve. There are live stitches here that you pick up to do the sleeves, but also I think here along the front and the back, you do pick up stitches from the selvage edge. And then the body is plain stockinette round and round, which is really nice for playing games with my family and reading 
and just doing other things that I don't need to think a lot about or doing other things where I don't have to think a lot about the thing that I'm knitting. So it was actually super enjoyable, even if it was on tiny needles. I do love the fabric. The neckline sits so nicely because you aren't doing, you are still doing short rows because there's shoulder shaping and neckline shaping and things like that. And there are just very thoughtfully placed increases, decreases, that kind of thing. And so, so I feel like this neckline just sits really comfortably. I'm going to turn around to show you the back. I feel like the back sits at a very comfortable height. It isn't too high, it isn't too low, it just kind of goes right across the back of my neck where it sits really nicely. And then the front is shaped really well. And you pick up the neck band afterwards. And I believe I knit either until the first cake of yarn ran out and then went into the neckline, or I knit to where I felt like I wanted to go back to the neckline and I just center pulled from that cake of yarn and did the neckline. Because generally I pull from the outside of a yarn cake, but if I'm going to go back and do something else before that yarn cake is finished, I can just pull from the center and not have everything get all tangled up. I forgot to mention that my body length here, I ended up with a total of I think 12 and a half or 13 inches. My hip bone is up here, so it does go a couple of inches past my hip bone and past the height of my jeans. I feel like it is at a very comfortable level where I can raise my arm and not have any issues with coverage or lack of coverage. So it is very comfortable length. I feel like if I were to wear it with a skirt, which I haven't yet, I could probably tuck the front in if I wanted to or just leave it out. There's enough positive ease that it's boxy but not tenty. And so I feel like it could just go really well over skirts comfortably and it's not too long so it won't go strangely over like a gathered skirt. I'm just thinking out loud here. I don't know for sure because I haven't tried it yet because I just recently finished this. But yeah, I am really looking forward to wearing this throughout the spring. It is a little bit cooler outside right now for me to wear this. I feel like short sleeves and like 40 degree weather don't really work for me. And so this is a fingering weight tee with linen in it. So I feel like maybe temperatures in like the 50s, 60s, even low 70s would be okay. But once it gets higher than that, then then I start, you know, getting hot <laughs> and I don't like things prickling me. I know a lot of people say wool is magical and you can wear wool through the warmer weather months and it'll be just fine. But I think it's totally personal preference. If I start sweating and I feel like prickly, I can't do it. I just can't do it. So once it gets into the 70s Fahrenheit, I think it'll still be okay. We'll see what happens. But I feel like in general, in the summer, I don't wear wool. I don't think I wear any wool, but I will switch over to like plant fibers to knit garments because I can wear those in the summer. But yes, I think this is going to be so wearable as a transition piece for spring and maybe even in the fall, or maybe I'll have to knit another one for the fall. I think Tori's sample is knit in that beautiful poppy red, and I think that would be just absolutely beautiful for the fall. So maybe I'll have to knit a red one for the fall, or maybe like an eggplant purple, or like a dusty purple color, or maybe like a caramel brown color, that could be really beautiful, or dark green. Oh, so many options, I don't even know. So, bottom line is, I really enjoyed making this garment, and I really love the fit of it, and it just, wears really comfortably and I, I really, really like it. So if you give this pattern a go, I hope you enjoy knitting it as much as I did. Take care, bye. <laughs>